What I attempted to create were images that reflected the hidden, the things hiding in the shadows. This is why I called it shadows of change. Things that right below our eyes are changing. These people live off of the land. You can see that their lifestyle is changing, the fact that they, they're very fearful about having good cold ice to take their dog sleds out on. They're being forced to be fishermen, and to ask a hunter to be a fisherman is really a tough thing because most of the hunters think fishing is for um, women, children, and handicapped. Immediately, there was this coldness where the fishing boats were frozen in place and the seal hunter skiffs were scattered here and there. And there was this dump where big ships had been bringing discarded computers, office equipment, washing machines, cars and trucks. Normally in September, it starts to freeze and it stays frozen until uh, June. And then they can go on the ice and hunt the seals and they can use their dog sleds. It's all connected. And when they hunt, they hunt for everything of the animal because they believe that the animal and them are equals. The animal gives them the skin to clothe themselves against the cold winters. They even make toys from the bones if there's no ice, it will mean certain starvation, especially to the people in faraway villages because the only way that they can travel and hunt is on the ice and dog sleds. One of the hunters told me, he said, you know, in the civilized lands, we only learn what man can become. In the uncivilized, what man is. I thought about that. And when we speak of global warming and climate change, this is also affecting the human spirit, which is slowly being killed. I mean, the hunters of Umanak come from a long tradition of hunters, and this is vanishing, like the melting of the glaciers.